this video how to stop kidney disease progression in 13 steps hello welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health there are 13 very easy steps all kidney disease patients must do and must know in order to stop kidney disease progression even in the advanced stages I can tell you this because I personally met kidney disease patients who were able to improve some even in the advanced stages and this is exactly what they are doing. Okay, let's see what these steps to slow kidney disease progression are. First step, minimize sodium intake. When it comes to dietary sodium, less is certainly best. When your kidneys are not healthy, extra sodium and fluid build up in your body and this can cause in kidney patients swollen ankles, puffiness, a rise in blood pressure, shortness of breath and fluid around your heart and lungs. So be very careful with sodium. The current recommendation for patients with CKD is limiting sodium intake to 1500 milligrams a day. The benefits of following a low sodium diet include improved blood pressure and reduced proteinuria. Number two, treat anemia. Let's face it, if you want to beat CKD, you'll have to beat anemia too. And you know, when you beat anemia, you're not just going to feel a lot better, you're also going to repair your kidneys. Did you know that anemia is known to accelerate kidney disease? So. Never let anemia go untreated. Natural remedies that can help with anemia include iron supplements to raise iron levels, but also vitamin C, B12, and folate. And some patients are also reporting great results with L-carnitine. If nothing works, your doctor could prescribe erythropoietin stimulating agents, injections to help your body make red blood cells. Never let anemia go untreated number three exercise regularly exercise is important for people with chronic kidney disease because it can lower your blood pressure even when medications can't additionally exercise is extremely good for your heart health because it can literally wipe away cholesterol from the arteries it's basically the fastest way in the world to repair your kidneys since it's also proven to improve insulin resistance in people with diabetes. Not to mention that it will make you stronger, happier, and also better looking. The benefits are so many. Doctors are now recommending exercising even to the elderly and to those on dialysis. If you don't know where to start from, don't worry, I've made a very easy exercising program you can follow even at home without any equipment. Link is down in comment section. Don't miss it! Number 4. Manage blood pressure and blood sugar. Okay, how to lower blood pressure fast and naturally? Eat a healthy diet, limit sodium intake, keep yourself at a healthy weight, be physically active, do not smoke, limit alcohol you drink, and get enough sleep. Daily habits for healthy blood sugar. Eat healthy, focus on eating only as much as your body needs. Get plenty of vegetables, fruits, whole grains. Limit foods that are high in sugar and fat. Number five, eat less protein. This is important. It is actually possible to stop the progression of CKD by following a diet very low in protein. This is actually confirmed by medical literature. The very low protein diet will remove a lot of burden from the kidneys. And this treatment is composed by a special diet and a supplementation of keto analogs. Ask your doctor to help you in this. Number six, eat a plant-based diet. Choosing plant-based foods instead of meats may help treat chronic kidney disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. The plant-based consists of foods primarily from plants. This includes not only fruits and vegetables, but also nuts, seeds, oils, whole grains, legumes, and beans. Number seven, use NSAIDs with caution, or better, Stop using them. People with chronic kidney disease are generally advised not to take NSAIDs. 
NSAIDs have been associated with acute kidney injury in the general population and with the progression of disease in those with chronic kidney disease. NSAIDs may also decrease the effectiveness of certain prescription medications that are often used by people with kidney disease. The good news is that there are remedies that will help stop the pain without using NSAIDs. These include omega-3s from foods or supplements. Some examples of foods include chia seeds and black seeds. Use spices. There are some spices that will help stop any pain naturally like cloves, devil's claw and capsaicin. Turmeric is also great when paired with piperine. It's as powerful as some OTC painkillers. Number 8. Track progress. Use a health journal. A health journal is like a diary but lets you keep track of your health. For example, if you want to eat less sodium, you may find it a lot easier to achieve this goal when you write down what you eat. But most of all, it will be helpful for you to see objectively over time how changes made to your lifestyle have affected your kidney health and how it has improved. Number 9. Stop smoking. Uncontrolled or poorly controlled high blood pressure is a leading cause of kidney disease. Smoking slows the blood flow to important organs like the kidneys and can make kidney disease worse. Number 10. Consult a doctor before taking any medications. Asking questions about your treatment or medicine is important to help you understand your options before taking any medication. All medicines have benefits and risks. Be sure to ask about the prescription's side effects as well as any interactions it may have with your current diet, medications, and supplements. Ask your healthcare provider whether the anticipated benefits outweigh any risks associated with this medication. 11. Stay informed. It is important to take steps to keep the kidneys healthy. Staying informed will help manage kidney disease. 12. Stay hydrated. One of the best ways to keep your kidneys healthy is to maintain your hydration. Staying well hydrated is a great way to keep your kidneys well maintained and flush out the bacteria which can cause infections. Number 13. Prevent heart problems. Watch your weight. It is important to know that having kidney disease can directly affect your chances of developing heart disease. Remember that what helps with heart health will help your kidneys too. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.